Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here. Before we get started in setting up SSHFS, we're gonna get a couple of pieces of data together. First off, go to Settings and System and see if you have changed the host name of your Steam Deck. You may have renamed it Steam Deck to something else. If you did, please make note of what you renamed it to. This video is going to assume that you left it alone and it is named Steam Deck, just as you see here. If you have changed it, make note of what that is because you're going to need to replace it later. You're also possibly going to need the IP address. Now, in my situation here, I have two different connections set up for when I'm plugged into my dock or when I'm unplugged from my dock. Each one of these network connections has a different IP address. So based on that, you're, you may need the IP address from one or both of these connections. So make sure you make a note of what your current IP address is for your Steam Deck. You may want to hardwire your IP address using the uh, allocation tables in your network router. Probably won't need to, but if you do and you've got that knowledge, it might be nice to assign a permanent IP address to your Steam Deck. With all that said, I think we're ready to get started. Our first uh, steps to getting SSHFS going is enabling SSH on the uh, device itself. So let's go to System, Console, and if you have not yet set a password, pass WD, and uh, go ahead and set a password. I've already got one, so I'm just going to abort this process because I've already got one. But if you don't, you need to set one first. Next up, sudo system ctl enable sshd. Now, by the way, all of these commands are in the description below. I recommend you cut and paste if you're not comfortable. It's gonna ask for your password and we're enabled, excellent. So now if we wanna start it, cause it's only enabled and it's not actually running yet. Let's hit up arrow. Did I mention you should probably be using a keyboard for this? Uh, let's go ahead and start sshd. Doesn't say anything, but we now know it's running. But if we wanted to check, we could do the same thing and hit status and it will show us what's going on that it's enabled. Awesome, okay, so great. So as long as the deck is on, whether it's in gaming mode or in desktop mode, as long as it's on and awake, we can access it using SSH, or in our case, SSFH on Windows using it as a mounted drive letter. Let's go over to Windows now and get that set up. All right, over on the Windows side, we have a couple of things we need to prepare first. First, let's jump over to the Microsoft Store, do a search for WinGet, Filter by apps, and you should see something called App Installer. If you already have it installed, great. If you don't, go ahead and get this. App Installer is very, very cool, and uh, you can do a lot of cool things with it. Um, if there's an update, go ahead and do that. Let it do its thing. Now yeah, we're not signing in. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and download the App Installer. Only take a moment and we're done. So app installer is now installed. Now we can use winget from the command line. So hit the start button, type in CMD, go up to one of the search results, right click, run as administrator. I'd rather you have too much permissions to get this installed versus not enough permissions to get this installed. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look uh, at our description of our video. We need two different winget packages to make this whole thing work. Uh, winget install winfsp.winfsp. I definitely recommend cutting and pasting it to make sure that you get it right. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. It's going to download and install the package. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and grab the next package. We do, of course, agree to all the terms. This is a, an open source project. It's on GitHub. I'll provide a link. You can go and verify yourself that it is safe for use. All right, now we need to install uh, the second part, which is SSHFS itself, using WinGet. And there we go, it's gonna download, blah, blah, blah. And that's it, we're done. So we now have all the components. We have SSH running on the deck, we have SSHFS, or file system, here on our Windows machine. Now all we have to do is map a drive. So we're gonna go ahead and open File Explorer. You guys don't seem to like it when I use directory opus. Uh, so I'm gonna use something that's free and on everybody's machine already. 
So hopefully this will uh, this will keep the comments a little lower on this topic. Go over to this PC, right click and select Map Network Drive. So you have a list of available drives. You should have quite a few of them actually. So go ahead and pick one, whatever you like. I'm gonna go ahead and select X. Look at the video description. We have several examples of mounting points that we can mount this drive to. One such example here would be mounting your SD card. So maybe I'll mount that as the S drive. We're gonna go ahead and reconnect at sign on so that we always have this uh, drive available to us. We'll hit finish. Make sure your deck is on, of course. You're gonna need that password. I think I fat fingered it. And if you would like, go ahead and remember me so you don't have to worry about it, hit okay. It's now going to connect. Look at this, your S drive. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Go to this PC. You now have an S drive right here that you can open up and access your micro SD card right from Windows. Brilliant. This is, to me, this is the only way to fly. Why should I do any file management whatsoever using secure shells or doing any of that other nonsense, WinSCP, even directory opens, forget about it. Use whatever file manager you want. Cheap, free, doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and map another one because that's not the only thing you need access to, right? We're gonna go ahead and map a network drive to, uh, I don't know, we're gonna say Y and we are going to mount that to the root of our Steam Deck. So we have access to the entire internal drive. Finish. Once again. Great. So now we have a Y drive and we have access to the entire thing. We go to home, deck, local, share. Yeah, because you know where I'm going with this, right? You're going to compat data because this is where we all end up going. So this is where we really end up wanting to go. So, hey, why don't we go ahead and map a drive there? If we're gonna spend a whole lot of time in compat data, let's go ahead and do that as well. So I'm gonna, again, this is a, in the video description. We're gonna cut and paste. We're gonna mount another network drive. Hey, you got lots of drive letters, why not use them? We'll mount this to Z, all right? And there's our compat data folder. Awesome, finish. Remember me? Yes. Now we have access to compat data and we can easily find ones that were modified recently and we can go in, add our requisites, add our mod files, add whatever we want and we've never left the comfort of Windows. We've never left the comfort of our PC. We have a nice, easy to use desktop where we have a mouse and a keyboard already. We don't have to worry about idiosyncrasies of Dolphin. We have what we need to get work done. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, you guys know what to do. If this was helpful, please leave a comment. Let's start up a dialogue, it really helps out the channel. I'm Shane Armandro, as always, thanks so much for watching and take care.